guys, welcome back to another episode of Photography 101. Today we are going to finish up covering Aperture. And if you haven't gone seen the other, the pretty much the main um, episode of Photography 101 Aperture, which, which is where we cover Aperture and what it is and what it contains and how it affects your uh, photographs and what they look like, kind of like the depth of field, the large depth of field and small depth of field. But today we're going to finish off the very confusing part. Um, unfortunately there is a confusing part but we're gonna get through it and we're gonna be okay so let's start that out right now or right, as you guys remember me talking about the in the previous episode about aperture you remember me saying about f22 that's a large number which means a large depth of field and then if it's a small number like f1.2 that means it's gonna be a small depth of field but for this it's a little opposite you're talking about apertures. So, the final step of this is we got to know what a small aperture is and a, and a large aperture. A small aperture, to your surprise and my surprise at the beginning, is actually going to be f22. And let me remind you, aperture is the size of the opening of the camera when you're taking a photograph. So, f22 is really going to have a small opening, kind of like this funnel. It's smaller than this one. So the reason for that is, is that this f1.2, it's a small number, but it's a large aperture. Because it has a large opening when you're taking the photograph. There's going to be that little um, graphic on here that will help kind of explain the openings as as like the numbers progress to F22 or like from F1.2 to F22. You can see at F1.2 it says it's the biggest it will ever be. But as it goes down the line, F22 is a lot a lot lot smaller than F1.2. The reason for that is is that F22 is a small aperture. Not a small number, but a small aperture. And F1.2 is a large aperture. So this is where aperture and shutter speed go hand in hand. As maybe you guys could imagine already, you guys may be putting it together, which I'd like to see. But if you haven't, let me continue in explaining. Alright, so we got F22 here. So this is going to be a small aperture, which means a small opening. So what that means is that the light coming in and I'll do an illustration of this. The light coming into this is going to be a, it's going to take a lot longer, maybe not a lot longer, but definitely longer than if I had an f1.2, which is a large aperture. And if the light came into this, which is a larger, way larger opening than the f22, it's going to take a lot shorter time for the uh, photograph, for the camera to take the photograph. So that means your shutter speed is going to be a lot higher when your aperture is, for instance, 1.2 than f22 because the size of the openings of when the camera is taking the photograph. So let me illustrate that really quick in a very visual way. And like I've said before, I am a very visual person. So I hope this guys helps you, helps you guys as much as it did me. Um, so here we go. All right, so got a little trick for us. All right, so here's some water. This water, I don't know, maybe about a liter of water, is going to be light for a couple of seconds. And like I said, the higher the number, like F22, it's going to take a lot longer for the light to travel through than F1.2 because of the size of the openings. So, let's see if it's true. Alright, I got this and I kind of nasty bucket. We're going to try out the 1.2 first. Alright, set that down. I'm gonna let this go in here, take the cap off. Alright guys, I'm gonna set a timer on the video so you guys can, you guys can see how long it goes, alright? Set, go! There we go. And done! There it is! That is the first test of Aperture F1.2 which is going to be a large aperture, which, if this truly works, it's going to be a lot faster than f22. But let's give it a try, all right? All right, so let's give f22 a try, all right? So here we go. Let's take the top off. Let's get this through. 
And this is going to be a smaller opening because it's a small aperture. So let's give it a try and see how much slower it is than the large aperture like 1.2. Here we go. Alright guys, you can't see that, but here you go. Done! Alright, hopefully that worked out. I mean, you guys will see in the comments, but I think that that was actually slower than the F1.2, which is true, it should be, because it has a lot smaller opening when taking the photograph than 1.2, because it has, 1.2 has a large aperture. So, I hope this has been a great uh, Photography 101 lesson for you guys. I've enjoyed it a blast. It's really hot out here, but having this water um, is kind of tempting to drink it. But I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And let me know what you guys have learned and what else you guys want to learn in, these, in a new Photography 101 episode. All right, guys. Have a great day. All right, guys. If you haven't checked out the Photography 101 What is Aperture video, go check it out. There's a link right on the screen right now. Um, it's... It tells you everything you need to know about Aperture and what it is and how it really truly makes you become a better photographer once you understand it. And as always guys, click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, it will keep you up to date whenever I release a video or anything like that. So thanks guys for watching and have a great day.